Hey guys, uh, it's Tony at uh, McMahon uh, Alternators again. And uh, normally we're talking car audio on uh, on here, but uh, we, we do a lot more than car audio. We do industrial, uh, you know, snow plow, racing, uh, mud bogs, mega trucks, and you know, all that good stuff that we uh, like to spend money on. So um, I wanted to touch base real quick on some race car things that maybe get overlooked because the race car guys are concerned on uh, you know the motor and you know it's one of those things where you're so technical on certain things but some things that are obvious to other people are not even on the radar for someone else so um, this one I'll try to keep this under 10 minutes but um, the main culprit here is these modern engines with fuel injection fans, uh, trans brake, uh, trans cooler, um, you know, anything you can think of, uh, nitrous solenoids, bottle heaters, uh, heat exchangers, uh, all that stuff. That stuff is adding up. So what's happening is the old school uh, thought of, okay, so for drag racing, we need to get the battery uh, out of the front and we need to put it in the back that way we get more weight transfer or ballast or we make room up here for a turbo or something like that anyway you put the battery in the back so what you do or what's being done is the power wire from the alternator uh, if they're doing it correctly through NHRA or um, you know anything uh, spec class this is uh, basically your alternator on this car right here this is my car this is a uh, you know procharged uh, coyote engine a lot of people doing these coyote swaps uh, so it makes a good uh, you know good platform to kind of touch base so for my alternator um, did, tr trust me that this is the size of the cable I've already tried to look over there and I burned my hand so um, but this right here you can see now this is a four gauge wire you can see this is like a real deal, four gauge, oxygen free, how flexible. This thing, you could probably beat somebody with it. But that's that's what OE manufacturers do. They put the, the bare minimum wire that they can, cheapest cost, you know, to save money or do whatever they do. So what ends up happening is a junction box is made, or a distribution block rather. So this this cable is connected to the distribution box and then they take the same cable or whatever they have laying around um, or what's ever in these cheap battery kits you'll get like a you know the little sheet metal aluminum um, I'm guilty I've bought one before but it actually worked for what I needed um, not a lot of electronics but they they expect this small wire or copper clad wire or you know even smaller wire to carry 120 30 plus amps all the way to the back of the car and it's just not gonna happen because anybody knows the longer the cable the higher the voltage drop is gonna be so you have to plan ahead for that these cars come with a 170 amp factory stock uh, some of the ones with the power, or well, the ones with the power seats and more electronics actually come with like a 195 or so, maybe 200. Um, that's a lot of power for a stock vehicle. So when you're running that wire back there, you're losing the voltage. You're getting that drop. So how do you combat that? Um, it's not by getting a bigger alternator. It's by using the correct wire and ground. Um, You'll need a ground from your alternator mount bolt or the alternator mounting bracket. Um, if you don't want to run that to the back like we recommend, um, just make sure it's a really hefty, clean ground here. You can ground here, that's fine. Not optimal, but it works for this situation. And then you'll run your zero gauge. I would recommend two gauge minimum. Just go ahead and do the zero. Uh, you can see zeros nice and fat and it, it just takes care of a lot of stuff and you can worry about other stuff later but you run that zero all the way to the back ground your battery do all that stuff and 
now your alternator not this but your alternator down there can push the power more easily um, it's the old uh, milkshake with a small straw thing if you ever tried to drink one of those really thick milkshakes through one of those tiny straws you're going to be out of breath real quick and that's what your alternator does it gets out of breath heat builds up in the alternator and then the rectifier on the back will actually discolor it, you'll start see it getting heat checked kind of like you would like a flywheel like a clutch flywheel and that's where all the bad stuff starts happening so you start losing voltage your nitrous solenoids don't open properly and it's really terrible if like your fuel uh, solenoid doesn't open and you spray straight nitrous in there um, that's a bad time for everybody really um, there, there's a few other little things but um, had a, a local guy that uh, we did an alternator for and you know he fell victim to that the, the, you know build an engine um, he's done great on this everything is perfect I couldn't ask for anything better but uh, just the wire slips by some people for some reason and uh, they don't want to spend the money on it which I mean I understand you know it's just wire but if you're doing these battery relocation kits uh, most of them will come with just crap wire you know it's that wire that you can like hold you know like this far out and it won't bend <laughs> so it may look like two gauge wire uh, but it's really like four gauge wire so um, just a quick hit on that to uh, let you guys know that you know it's not just audio uh, we're into everything uh, we're into making all the electronics work great um, just run your proper wire um, you know there's a distance for everything you know this distance from here it's perfectly fine for what it is it's not far at all but literally the alternator is here and when they mount the battery in the back or wherever in the back they generally mount it in the behind or in front of the uh, the passenger tail light which is the which is the longest run possible because it'll go here 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 around wherever and uh, that's a lot of juice for this little wire to carry if it's even this good so um, just keep that in mind guys um, you got to have the you can get you the right alternator but uh, you know it's all in the install it's all in the final final ro uh, roll of it so again guys uh, take care and uh, I'll be back with some other stuff I have some other stuff on uh, on the board I want to touch with but uh, I wanted to get this one out of the way um, racing going on and it's uh, fresh fresh off my head so other than that guys